We're not right. We're not on the water's edge, but I'm sure I could hear something through the headphones. Um, that means a lot for Gabby Satkiver, and it means a lot for the Czech Republic. Absolutely, as well. you can you can just feel her smile from over here on the other side of the trees. So now we have Monica Doria Villarubla from Andorra, um, second in Prague this year. She's a former junior European champion. A lot of weight on her shoulders representing Andorra trying to get uh, that quota. She's been uh, been fast this year, hasn't she? She's had a good season. Absolutely. She, not even just this season, She's she's been on the rise and just maintaining, maintaining a very respectable high status, I would mm. say. Yep. Um, but as we get towards the final end of the athletes competing here today, they'll have seen everybody else's runs and they know that at the top of the course, a mistake does not mean that the race is over. So Monica touching that that top um, gate six, she's going to know that it's n it's not it's not the end of her race, and that she should sh keep going, keep doing the run she knows she can do, and then it might still be enough to qualify for that final. Yeah, I think uh, the, the smoothest run we've seen so far was uh, Evie Liebfass. Um and even she had some trouble there. You called it in, at the time, Lois. She had some trouble getting across between a couple of the gates, but her time is still fast enough to be at the top of the leaderboard. So Eleanor Lillick is the, the athlete waiting to see uh, if she will get that qualifier now. Her time was a 113.5. Yeah, it's very tight in that top six paddlers. Just two, two seconds, two and a half seconds in between first and Ooh, this is a bit fast too. We're going to have a new yeah. leader. Wow. A with new a <laughs> race leader with a touch. Thank you very much. Phenomenal. 